Hey, this is Sharon at Whitworth Farm Equipment in Deetsville, Alabama. Uh, Mr. Headley uh, has brought us some candy coaxers, and it's a new item that he's uh, selling to everybody. And uh, I'm going to let him explain exactly what we do. Um, now, Mr. Headley, I see it's in a bag here, and I'm not sure how it works. Can you explain it to me? Well, what we've done over the years, we, we came up with the candy first. And we had so many people calling us, telling us that they were killing deer over it, which is illegal. So what we did, we came up with what we call the candy culture. We got it approved for all of Alabama. We got it approved in northern Georgia where you can't hunt over bait either. But what it is, it becomes a scent because they can't ingest the candy that's inside of it. Oh. It comes packed in the candy and has candy packed in it. What you do when you go out to hunt, you take it out of the bag, you hang it up. It has to be hung head high. You hang it up, you don't leave it. You take it back down and put it back in the bag. When you get through, that way it lasts you all season. My goodness, so you only buy one bag then? You buy one bag of this and it'll last you all season long. Gosh. If it ever gets wet, yes. or if it gets where you don't think you can smell the candy, you unzip it. There's enough product in the bag that you can put back in it, fill it back up, and still leave some in there to help cover your scent. Well, gosh, gosh, I know somebody right off the bat that would uh, probably buy a couple bags of those. Now, um, is this, do you sell quite a bit of these versus the other, what other do you product do you have? It's, the candy itself, um, it's really about half and half. Uh, normally most people would get like two bags of candy and, and one with the culture in it. That way they can pour this out still in front of their cameras. Mm -hmm. Or if they want to, if they find a place that they want to hunt, they go out and pour the candy out first to get the deer coming to it and they can get pictures of them to see what deer are coming there. This has to be gone for 10 days off the ground before it's legal to hunt with the coacher. But you take the coacher back and you hang it over where you had the candy on the ground, and when the deer get downwind of it, they smell it, they think the candy's back on the ground, and they come right back to My it, goodness. Back to the coacher. So what is your success rate on this uh, new product? As far as... Have um, you gotten pictures of... We've got, you can see on the front of the bags, you can see the bucks coming to it. Oh, that's real live. Okay. Yeah, that's the real thing there. Gosh. And we just got it approved at the end of the season last year, so we just have a few photos. We're just now starting this year getting video and all with it. And okay. We've been doing real good with it so far. Well, all right. But it's excellent for bow hunters. Bow hunters can use it and actually position the deer where they can get a good shot on him broadside. Well, now, what's this run uh, per bag on the coaster? This is 19.99. And it, like I say, it'll last you all season, so it's not Gosh. like a bunch of other stuff that you buy and you put it out and it's gone. So yeah. It, it's just like buying a... Okay, and how about the cam candy per bag? The candy's thirteen ninety nine. Okay. And it is, it's amazing. The raccoons don't eat it. Hogs don't eat it. When you put it out, you're feeding the deer. And it's an actual feed. It's actually good for them. It's not like 90% of your other attractants are salt-based. So okay. And a lot of people like to feed corn. Well, then you have the raccoon problem, squirrel problems, and everything. But yeah. Candy out, you don't have any problem like that. So. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming by and um, explaining this to us. And uh, maybe we'll sell a few bags today, okay? Well, thank you, ma'am. Right. Good luck with Thank you.